everybody, welcome to Sky Lounge, and this is Cruise Brews, episode number, I'm going to say 25. I'm going to say 25 and just go with it. And you are listening to some non-copyrighted music here on the Sky Lounge, brought to you by Spotify, because yes, we need to have this corny-ass radio voice to keep you ladies and gentlemen interested for about 20 fucking seconds if we can. But right now, here in Las Vegas, it is raining. It is raining heavily, boys and girls. It is kind of crazy. But heavy rain, haha, <laughs> video game reference, but heavy rain aside, it's an early, it's an early day. It is about, well, it's not that early right now. It's uh, almost one in the afternoon. We are heading to the gym. So why do you go to the gym so much? You still look like a fat fuck. Well, listen, it's called, you know, having a good behavior or developing good you know, hobbies and behaviors and shit. I don't know. Uh, I get. I guess that's that's the excuse I'm I'm using here. Yeah, I'm taking the. I'm taking. I'm taking the shorter street. Well, the the faster route, relatively speaking. But you know, the whole thing with Las Vegas is when it rains, it pours, and when it pours, people don't know how to fucking drive. What I mean by that is people will speed the fuck on the road, like this jackass who was driving a fucking Toyota truck, like speed limits us 35, and generally speaking, in heavy ass, you know, drenching rain, it's generally recommended you don't drive so fucking fast, right, and that's the thing, I take that advice to heart, because yeah, the the fucking uh, lack of traction that the fucking rain causes from the asphalt on the road and shit, all the science and crap behind it car engineering, I don't know, boys and girls, I'm talking out of my ass, but, hey, we're still bringing you non-copyrighted music, because Spotify knows how to accumulate music, and all this is brought to you by YouTube, YouTube, the place where I can just say my fucking opinions and no one gives a fuck, yeah, pretty much, pretty much that's how things work, but, alright, might need to get my perks checked soon. I need to just go get my car checked over the weekend or something. Actually, next week. I might have to go check it next week. But check your cars, boys and girls. Make sure your cars are good to go. Otherwise, you are going to have a disastrous time on the road. That's how it usually is. And safety first, boys and girls. Safety first. Especially on a day like today. Valentine's Day. I fucking ranted about this shit so many times on different platforms at this moment, you know, at, at the last few days, really, so I don't really want to fucking beat the dead horse, but it's a bullshit day, no one gives a fuck, and why aren't you fucking turning, asshole, fucking Christ, come on, dude, come on, dude, but yeah, it's a lot of rain right now, blast the windshield whappers, a little more frequently because the rain is getting on our face. But yeah, no, it is it is really rainy right now. I'm I'm kind of fascinated. I'm absolutely fascinated because I, I love the rain. I do. You don't really get it here a lot in Vegas, but today is one of those exceptions. We get to see a lot of rain. Oh my god. But yeah. We're actually headed over to the gym, as per usual, because I'm a fat fuck, I want to develop better habits, and definitely going to the gym on a day-to-day basis is a good habit to develop, and, man, so today's, today's push day, you know, the chest, all the fucking push muscles, shoulder, triceps, all that good stuff. I'm debating about tomorrow, to be honest. I'll probably, you know, I'll probably go to the gym tomorrow, too. Probably do cardio session, if anything. If anything, I'll do cardio tomorrow. And then Saturday will be like an all-muscle all day kind of, you know, do the major workouts. Or, may, you know, what's the fucking... Is a complex muscle group or some shit? Like compounded muscle, yeah. Compound workouts, like compound muscle workouts or whatever you call that, where 
certain exercises that cover so many aspects of one you know body part that you're that you want to work on so you know squats is one of those compound exercises it, it hits all the fucking parts on your legs great workout and yes that's a bit of bro science and a little bit of reading involved as well so there you have it folks some good old science for you here on the sky lounge where the rain is crazy and the wind and combine that with the rain is just it's bonkers it's it's absolutely bonkers right now so i'm trying to drive a little bit slower today but you got assholes around me who are just fucking thinking it's fucking fast and the furious good lord i have my gripe about the fast and the furious series it's fucking awful i don't know why they have like nine of these already at this point holy fucking shit but suck have you not watched fast and the furious 8 dude I, i've got glimpses of it. it it looks fucking awful it absolutely does i and yeah i'm not here to say that my movie taste is right i'm just subjecting you to my fucking opinion boys and girls and again if you don't like it you can leave it's as simple as that i always say this i always say this on any fucking platform if you don't like it you can leave Quite frankly, I always say this too, the numbers don't matter. The quality of content, you know, that's what matters. I always feel like I gotta say my all, gotta be honest, gotta be truthful, you know? And the truck is right in front of me, great. That's fucking great. But yeah, it's a pretty, pretty dreary weather today, but you know, as soon as I get home after the workout, I'm thinking about cooking it's gonna be the same dish i cooked a couple days ago um shrimp fried quinoa really fucking delicious very simple recipe too you guys just have leftovers and shit or you just have shrimp lying around in the house um other than the one in your pants boys and girls zing small dick joke but uh i just put you know shrimp olive oil uh crap ton of broccoli obviously quinoa paprika is great uh, or any kind of chili powder is, is, is substantial. That's always that's always awesome. Uh, garlic powder, pepper, some thyme, right? Not the thyme you need to cook. I mean thyme, right? T h y m e. Discovering spices has been like a revelation for me. Like, oh my god, I can't believe you can use this shit for cooking, kind of thing. And yeah, you put a little bit of salt in that baby and you got yourself some decent ass fried rice and it only takes like 30 minutes or less to cook very easy very simple but there you have it boys and girls that that's that's an introduction to cooking <laughs> holy shit I'm, I'm, I'm a terrible I'm, I, I, don't, I don't claim to be a good cook I don't claim to be a bad cook I just like cooking you know I just like being in the kitchen being able to create shit I, I generally I say that a lot with with my whole brain. I like creating things. I mean, that's why I do the YouTube channel. That's why I do the podcast. That's why I do fucking weekly writing. That's why I do any of this shit. I love content creation. I love creating things and it just exercises my brain a little bit. So that's me. That's me in a nutshell. You know, I don't like to be the bystander. Just I, I don't mind being a consumer either, but you know, I like being the producer. I like making shit. It's fun. It's fun. I mean, that's why, dude, cooking is so great. Cooking's so fun to do. And, oh, I also forgot, uh, you could also put in some jalapenos, uh, green onions, and regular onions to, you know, get the fucking texture in there going, because life is only boring with broccolis, man, all right? You want to put some fucking green onions. I'm actually getting hungry thinking about that shit. So I'm going to cook that bad boy up. And it's gonna be fucking great because I'm gonna be hangry as fuck after the workout. So there's that shit. And really, I mean, as as much as I love sports, boys and girls, like sports pisses me off because losing sucks, of course. But you know, the sports is only one aspect of life, right? That's why no matter how like mad I get about a sports team, like at the end of the day, it's just, it's just a sport, it's a sport, it's a sport, it's a sport, it doesn't, in the long, it's a, in the long grand scheme of life, it's meaningless, right, that's why I like having little hobbies here and there, right, like cooking, like cooking, I want to just develop into like a fun hobby that I just do at least two, three times a week, right, at home, 
cooking your shit. Because, yeah, dude, eating out costs a lot of fucking money. It, costs, it adds up. The price absolutely adds up. And, no, the fun thing is I actually had cauliflower rice with cheese and a little bit of um, basil. Uh, fucking salt and uh, pepper in there this morning. And one chicken wing because I'm a fat ass and I love chicken wings. But that was a nice little breakfast I had. A lot of cheese, a lot of fat. But same time it kept me full all this time you know eat that shit like 7 fucking 30 in the morning you know got some spicy ass poops spicy poops hurts your butt it does it does hurt your butt yeah. that's the truth on the sky lounge boys and girls I'm here to just give you guys my opinions my honest truth my perspective on life right that's what Cruz Peru's is I'm just driving down you know, obeying the law as, as to the best of my abilities and, you know, rant while I can. You sound so calm. Yeah, relatively speaking. I mean, the rain, the rain's nice. I, I like driving in the rain, despite the fact that everybody around me and sometimes myself can be absolute fucking morons on the road. So be careful when you're driving in the rain, boys and girls. Absolutely be careful. Gets crazy out there. Gets crazy. Gets crazy. Absolutely gets crazy. But, you know, fucking for the podcast, I like to do something called the Big Monthly Adventure, which is pretty much me doing something on a month-to-month basis, kind of a big thing, right? as, as the name suggests. I don't know why I had to explain that shit, but basically what I like to do this time around for February is it's actually going to be happening next Tuesday at the Windmill Library here in Las Vegas. I'm going to be actually going to a little jazz concert um, for... I believe it's like what it's African History Month. It's African American History Month uh, in February, and I believe um, the Windmill Library is hosting like a jazz dedicated to well, uh, African American history. If I'm not mistaken, I'd actually look at the poster again. But I'm not gonna lie to you. I've been bitching to all my friends about the fact that like there's no pot, like there's no jazz club, there's no like speakeasy kind of vibe of you know, or like a jazz lounge. There's no fucking jazz lounge, but. The fact that it's a free event and they're playing jazz and it's local high school, I believe it's Palo Verde, if I'm not mistaken. They're they're playing the backup instrumental stuff um, or orchestra stuff. I, I don't know how to fucking call that shit, but I believe one of the high schools in Las Vegas is going to be involved. So shout out to those kids uh, playing instruments really well. And yeah, def- I can't wait. I can't wait to go to that jazz concert, man. That's going to be fun. I'm going to be wearing my Bill Cosby sweater, but none of the raping. All right, because what do I say always on, on this channel, boys and girls? No murders, no rapes. I always say this shit. And if in the near future, you know, this 100 subscriber comes, you know, multiplies to a thousand, and I get some fucking dickwad who tries to misconstrue my words, I'm gonna just throw that shit back. I'll be like, listen, I got X amount of videos right now telling you flat out that I say no murder and no rapes all the time. And I, I really, really adhere to that role in life, man. Like, no murders, no rapes. That's fucked up. All right? No, that's just fucked up, dude. It really is fucked up. I've talked about this multiple times. Like, murder and rapes. Like, it, it's, it's a fucking dark subject. It's really fucked up. It happens in life, right? It does. It's terrible when you read about it. And this, this is why humanity is a cesspool of nonsense. It really is broken egos and shattered dreams and morbid depression to go all around oh my god you're saying this on a day of love it's not a day of love just another day it's just another day god damn it yeah. we're trying to specialize each day you notice that shit now I believe a comedian said this on a podcast or something but basically the observation was you know, there's too many fucking weird holidays now. Like, National Hot Dog Day, National Pizza Day. Like, who fucking cares? Like, just, it's another day. Just get on with your fucking life. That's why I don't celebrate Christmas. I don't celebrate any of those major holidays. Just because it's like, it's so fucking stupid, dude. Thanksgiving, dude, why don't you be thankful 24-7? Like, every fucking day that you're alive. Right? That's what I'm fucking thankful for. I can get up from my bed. I have a bed. Right? I have functioning legs. I have a functioning brain and penis. 
Like, I'm thankful for a lot of things each and every day. Little blessings, man. Small miracles every fucking day. You wake up. You're alive. That's it. I, I mean, dude, that's already great, great shit right there. Oh, boy, this is a lot of fun. This is excessive amount of rain today. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy. We should have expected this, though. We checked the weather forecast shit, and yet again, I am still kind of wowed. Because I'm an idiot. That, that's... That's all that, that that's all that comes down to. I'm, I'm just kind of an idiot. And, you know, thankfully, in this little ramp area that I drive over on Desert Inn, no one's speeding today, which is really nice. Like, except maybe the guy behind me who wants to fucking creep up right now. But, no, dude. I mean, again, in the rain, I just try not to fucking speed through because it's really ridiculous to do so. Like, why? It's crazy, man. But, you know me, boys and girls, I like to just bitch and complain. This is all this shit is. I say count your little blessings, but I, like, this whole segment is based on me bitching about, bitching and moaning about things. That really has little to no consequence in the, in the long term of my life, but for the sake of comedy, I do it. And it's, I, I don't know, I get a shit, I, 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 I get... I get little shits and giggles from it too, man. You know why I do all this shit? It's because I I make myself laugh. Like, it's not an ego thing. I just have a blast doing this shit. Like, the whole thing is, do something you like, man. It's easy to say from an unemployed guy. Yeah, it is. It absolutely is. But thankfully, I'm at a I'm at a nice position. You know, I'm at a blessed position where I can kind of lay off for a while and I'm actually waiting on something but dude count my blessings every day right? I do count my blessings every fucking day I'm alive a functioning penis functioning brain and I can talk I can move around I have a house that I live under I have a bed I have my mother, like, I, I have my pets, like, dude, like, fuck, I'm, I'm my, I have my buddies, like, dude, I, I, little blessings every fucking day, every fucking day, man. Hashtag blessed, yeah, indeed, hashtag blessed indeed, bitches, hashtag blessed indeed. Wow, it is, it is just ridiculously slippery. And you and no much, yes, yes, indeed. It is one o'clock. In the afternoon. Oh, we are going to the Golden Knights game today. Vegas Golden Knights versus Toronto Maple Leafs. Vegas Golden Knights. It's going to be a wild game, I believe. Last time the Toronto Maple Leafs were in Vegas was December 31st, 2017. That was a fun game. I had a blast. I was actually up like 24, 36 hours that day. So that was a long fucking day, but today's not that. Today is just another day where I get to go to the game. It's gonna be great. I have a good time. And yeah, I got family coming over next week, boys and girls. So because of them, potentially we might be going out of state over the month and a half they're here. So that's gonna be fun. I can't wait. I can't wait to spend time with my family. I used to be that little fucking asshole who used to hate their extended family like oh my god why are they here they're taking up space all that shit and of course like in the back of your mind you always think like man like i wish i could have my own space right now i wish nobody's here but at the same time like i've grown to appreciate the family that i have like you know especially losing a lot of my family members uh, in the past year and a half really two years so i like to think that I, i've changed a little bit i like to think that uh, my appreciation for family has grown significantly over the past few years, and yeah, I, I love hanging out with my family, man, like, they're, they're fun, they're a good bunch, especially my mom's side, they're, they're fucking hilarious, I mean, I had my cousin over, you know, a couple weeks back during CES, and that, that was a doozy, that was fun, because, you know, he's, he's my age, only a month older than me, so we got to share a lot of life philosophies, and unfortunately, I, 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 I talked about this, you know, and 
I would have loved to have had him on like an interview or like a podcast or whatever, but he's a bit camera shy, audio shy, a bit, a bit spotlight shy, let's say. And um, but I, I have a blast. I have a blast anytime my family members come over now, just because they're family, dude. I mean, that, that's blood. That's fucking blood right there. So you know, be grateful. If you, if you guys have family members, man, be grateful. You know, they're they're never gonna, they're not gonna be around forever old or young, they're not going to be around forever, life circumstances happen, you know, proximity um, of how, how close you are to your family, and in terms of physical distance, that can always change in, in the blink of an eye, so if you do have family members that live near you, that you have, that you get to see every fucking week or whatever, appreciate them, man, like, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing to have, family support is wonderful to have, man, trust me when I say that, it's great. Oh boy, oh boy. This is a wild fucking day. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. I don't I don't want to splash you. I do not want to splash you. Fuck. I might have splashed that dude. I'm sorry. Did not mean for that to happen, but it might have. Because there is a lot of fucking water clogs everywhere right now. It is a fucking bitch. It's crazy. It's crazy out here. But rainy days in Vegas. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Rainy days in Vegas pretty much means, uh, again, the roads are going to be chaotic. No one's going to know how to fucking signal properly, more so than usual. So there's the fun in that driving today. And, yes, you can definitely sense the sarcasm in my voice. I'm, I'm, I'm not ecstatic about driving in the rain. Like, I like dri- I like seeing the rain. I like driving in the rain. But, again, they're, like, it always, like, everything has pros and cons. Everything has pros and cons. You know, if you, you know, whenever I mention the cons, people always assume I'm a very, I'm a huge pessimist. I'm like, I'm the biggest fucking pessimist in the world. But I'm like, no, dude, I just like to have everything laid out. You want the pros and cons. You want to weigh your options. Like, you want to have options. Options are great to have, man. Right? When somebody says, oh, man, I'd rather just have a set thing and no options at all. Get the fuck out of here. People crave options, okay? Yes want to have some semblance of, you know, rigidity, 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 I don't fucking know how to pronounce that word sometimes, but you want to have some form of, you know, set things, but at the same time, man, like, the freedom of choice is, is really what makes this human experience so great, because, you know, as dark stories, as much dark stories come out in life, dude, like, oh, this dude overdosed, this dude, you know, fucked up, oh, this dude, you know, f- you know, ruined his life, it's like, that's their choice, they made the choice to do so, that's, that's the human experience, dude, you get choices, you get choices in life, that's the brilliant part about everything here, and we are just arriving to the gym, oh, I'm gonna fuck up my suspension doing that shit, but, boys and girls, we are here at the gym, at my gym here, where I work out fervently to fucking blast the fucking disgusting fat that I got in my body, yeah, as I attempt to do so, really, but you know, my park job is kind of shitty, almost always, so I'm going to leave it at that, so there you have it, boys and girls. That is all I'm going to give you today. Follow me at the Sky Lounge on all links in the description below. Like, comment, and subscribe for more daily content. Fuck off.